Hi, welcome to my kitchen. Today I am going to be making one of my favorites. It's a salad. I love salads. I could go to a buffet and my husband could eat all day on the meat and potatoes and all that stuff. Give me the salad part. That's what I love. This is a chicken and fruit salad. I almost cut my finger. Greg, I need a sharp knife. <laughs> he says he ain't ever given me a sharp knife because he don't like the way I cut. Oh, well, what can I say? Done it for all my life. I'm cutting up two cups of chicken breast that I had cooked. And, you know, when you cook chicken, don't ever, ever, ever throw the broth away. I price broth. When I go to the store, if I don't need something, I still price it if I'm walking down the aisle. And I saw the price on the chicken, bre on the chicken broth, and I about had heart failure. I said, I can buy a whole chicken for that make my own broth and have chicken for free <laughs> and I don't know what all they put in theirs mine's just pure chicken broth pure chicken anyway boy groceries are getting so expensive I'm glad the gardens are getting ready to start boy Greg's going to have some pretty gardens Okay, I'm sure that's probably a little more than two cups, but we're going to use it anyway. I'll put that in my bowl. There. Get rid of my chicken. I'm going to rinse that off along with my hands. Okay, now. I am going to add in that. I didn't get my lids. You have to excuse me a minute. Well, now that's not very smart, but I don't have any of my lids that I always use to cut my grapes with. I've got too much on my counter here. So I'm probably going to make a mess, but that's okay because I've done it before and I'm sure I'm going to do it again. I'll let everybody take my bowls home with them with leftovers in them and then I they throw them away because they don't save Cool Whip containers and I do so they just take for granted that grandma throws them away too after they get them This is weird. We'll see how this works. Maybe cutting them one at a time. Oh, that cut them. There. And that worked. Okay, and then you will want two bananas. I'm 
My bananas weren't real ripe, I'll tell you. I went to the store this morning and I got them because usually they're too ripe. So I thought, well, I'll go today and maybe it'll be just right. Well, guess what? Nah, nothing doing. So anyway, but I love salads. I could live on them. I get a salad at the restaurants when we do eat out, which isn't very often, but I like it when we do because I can get a little bit of everything. I can't wait till the garden comes on and I can get some good stuff out of the garden for my salad. I love red beets. My friend, she passed away, Jenny Ruth. She's about 20 years older than me, but she, oh mercy, could she make good red beets. She'd can them and, oh, she, she'd call me up. She's from the South. She'd say, Vera, I cook pinto beans. And she says, I've got a can of red beets with your name on them. And I'd say, I'll be over. And I, she said, well, you call me before you leave. And I said, okay, Jenny, I will. And about the time I'd get there, she'd be taking a pan of cornbread out of the oven. Oh, that was the best meal. She can make, I don't know, her cornbread, she'd make it the same way I did, but it tastes so much, so much better. She, oh, she could make the best green beans and the best pinto beans, and she was just such a good cook. Good cook. My oldest grandson just loved her to death. He was, she was his Sunday school teacher one year, and oh, he just loved her to death. Ooh, there's, a, oh, that's a chicken. But there's still a dark spot on it. I don't want that in my salad. don't think it's going to hurt anything, but still not going to my salad. But she'd can, she'd always, always call me. I got her recipe, thank goodness. She, she's in heaven now, but I don't know. I know mine won't be as good as hers were, but I'm going to can some this year. And then we're going to put one orange in there. And um, her husband and her, we went down to Gatlinburg, down in Tennessee, one year. My husband and her husband and her, we had the best time. They told us stories about up in the mountains where they where Carl had worked at, because they were from down in there somewhere. I can't even remember, but he knew the whole area. And, you know, you can be from down there, but there's so many places that you go and you don't know other areas, because, you know, when you lived there, you never got to go anywhere. And it was always fun. Her and I would always walk around it down in the creeks and stuff, take our shoes off, and Carl would holler at us, Now you girls, you're going to get wet. Well, yeah, we're in the creek, Carl. What do you expect us to do? <laughs> well, get out of there. Oh, he'd say, Genevieve, get out of that water. He's the sweetest man. Oh, I'm telling you, he was something else took us to where they used to live, took us to where their, some of their family lived. And I'll tell you, when you go with someone like that and you stop at their families, it doesn't matter if you knew them or not. You were their family too. They just, you know, treated you like family. You dice your oranges up, your orange up. You only use, have to use one. I know I 
last time I was down in Kentucky with mother and daddy. Daddy had cancer and he wasn't doing real good, but he wanted to go, so we went. We was riding and daddy said, pull over up here. Well, excuse me, I ain't know where to pull over at. Uh, but you found a spot. Okay, it's straight drop down there, Daddy. And that's a mountain over there. And if a truck comes through, we're in trouble. Well, yeah, but I wanted to show you. See way up there on top of that mountain? Yeah, I see all, <laughs> I see all those trees. I'm, I'm getting really nervous sitting here. Well, I just wanted to show you. See that little white, little, you can just barely see that little white house up there. Yeah, I see it. Well, that's where we used to live when you were a baby. Okay, I'm glad we stopped. So, I was really glad we stopped. But we went on down the road a little ways and turned around and started coming back up that way. And he said, um, I want to stop up here at this school. I said, okay, we can. So we did. Now you're supposed to garnish this with strawberries, but I like to put a few in it. So we're going to do that because it's my salad. <laughs> anyway, that's why I'm being picky about the ones I'm putting on top. I want them to be pretty and red. Anyway, we got up through there and turned around and started to come back. And uh, I wasn't driving, though. My uncle was, his brother. And for some reason, the car didn't, the car, I don't know what it did. It just took off. And you don't do that in the mountains, especially where we were at. And there was a semi coming, not a semi, coal truck coming meeting us. I'm like, oh my God, oh my God, we're going to die. But I didn't say that. I'm thinking it. And I just reached up and put my arm around Daddy. He's in the front seat with Mom. I didn't say anything to Mom. I felt bad afterwards. I said, uh, we're probably going to wreck Dad, but it's going to be okay. And finally, my aunt, Dad just reached over and turned the car off. He was sitting in the middle. He got the car off, and they got it stopped. And just in time. I mean, a little bit further, and we would have been over the mountain. But um, what had happened was the um, floor mat got caught underneath. It slid and got caught up underneath the gas pedal. Boy, I'll tell you, I watch my floor mats, and anybody else that's got floor mats in their car, if I'm riding in them, ever since that happened. Cause that scared me to death. So anyway, that taught me a good lesson. But I thought sure we's gone. Dad said, you thought you was going to die, didn't you, sis? And I said, kind of thought so. <laughs> but uh, that's okay. I'd been with Dad. So anyway, my husband's sitting back here just shaking his head. I know he was saying, oh, Lord, don't let me die down here in this place. Because he had never been down in there. He had been in Kentucky a lot because a lot of his friends and family was from down in that area too. Not his birth family, but he had a lot of good friends that was from down in there. Matter of fact, one of them, um, he used to stay with them more than he stayed at home. Um, I think they were from Tennessee though. I gotta wash my hands. I think uh, Mrs. Blair was from Tennessee, but and I've got her sausage cake in the um, recipes with Greg, um, and she passed away Sunday morning, and uh, it's an awfully, awfully good cake recipe. Y'all ought to try it, but... Uh, that was one sweet woman, I'm telling you. 
you you knew you were with a Christian lady when you were with her, as sweet as she could be. She couldn't do enough for you, and she's so sweet. Best cook. I've got a couple of her recipes, I'll tell you. Okay, now, once you get your... I could shut up and finish my recipe, couldn't I? Anyway, just get your salad made up like this. Isn't that pretty? And then once you get that done, I'm just going to make a couple of them up. You kind of make them up as you go for your dinner that night. Now, I made up my dressing. You can put any kind of dressing on this you want. Now, I'm using, they say just use mayonnaise on it. I am not a mayonnaise person. I'm just not. Now, I'll take mayonnaise and sugar and vinegar and put in it. And that's what I'm doing with ours. And stir that up in there. And that I like. But like I said, make it your own. Put in it whatever dressing. You might want French dressing. I don't know. Let me know what kind of dressing you use in it. But that's what I use. And then after you do that, take your take your lettuce. And you don't have to do this either. I just do it. The recipe says do it, but some people just want a bowl of salad dressing, salad like that. And that's okay too. But this is how I'm doing it. I'm taking some lettuce, putting it around on my plate. And this lettuce is really fresh. I can smell it. It smells so good. There. That really smells good. Okay. After you get that done, take your pineapple. And my fingers are clean because you all have seen me wash my hands at least three times. Take a couple pieces of pineapple and put on there. There. And then we're going to dip some of our salad out and put it right on the pineapple. I kind of want the pineapple to show if you can. I'm getting too much banana. I'll tell you, this would make a nice lunch for if you're having the ladies over for luncheon. Um, it's a meal, really. It's really just a good meal. At noon, for supper, it might not be enough, but at noon it would be plenty. And if you're doing it, it's your fingers that are in it, not mine. I think that's enough. I'm going to stand here and make it as high as I can make it. Um, I'm going to wash my hands again. Wash them off, rinse them off. 
and sprinkle a few pecans on it. You can use uh, almonds or you can use pecans. I'm just going to stick those in there. Then you want to garnish it a little bit with some pretty strawberries. And I'm just going to lay those strawberries just right around it. Like so. Now, like I said, this isn't recipe calls for us to do it this way. I like doing it this way. It's not saying you have to do it like this. You can put it, if my husband was eating it, getting it out of the fridge and eating it, he'd get a dish and dip it out and eat it. He wouldn't go to all this, but he's not doing it. I am. So, there we go. If I ask my husband to get me a dish of it and do it that way, he would. But just for him to get it for himself, nah, he wouldn't. He wouldn't go to all that work, he'd say. But I think that's pretty like that. I may have a couple too many strawberries on it. But it's still pretty like that, I think. And then you just I'm going to get a salad fork. Those big ones just don't look right with it. Big one and taste it. I haven't tasted it yet. That's not right. Mm. Oh, yum, yum, yum. That's delicious. Mm. I want you all to try that. My bowl's really messy, isn't it? Now you could take that to a carry-in if you wanted to because it's really pretty. So anyway, there's my chicken and fruit salad. I hope you'll all try it. I appreciate you staying tuned with me today. And I hope you all try this because it is really good. It's better if you put it in the refrigerator and let it get cool. Set it in there for maybe an hour before um, you serve it. And it's really good like that. So anyway, try it. Let me know what you think. And we'll be bringing you some more salad recipes real soon. I thank you bunches. And I will... Be talking to you soon. Love y'all. Bye-bye.